All right, welcome. Uh, it is Puka. It is Wednesday. Uh, welcome, everybody. Just a few thoughts here. Obviously, we got racing that has uh, come and gone over the weekend. Wild West shootout for the last couple of weeks. Sunshine Nationals down in Florida. We'll touch a little bit on that. Hockey season full swing. High school, college, NHL. Talk a little bit about that. And obviously, some football thoughts. Uh, football coming up this weekend so it's been you know probably a month since i've been on here but uh, we've been busy here at uh, goat sports we got a lot going on uh, i'll tell you about that in a second also but uh, of course just always want to start with my friends you know so it's january it's new year's resolution time as a matter of fact it's january i got the uh inauguration going on in the background c4 pre-workout c4 amino acids get them order them up i'll have the links in the show notes, uh, or you can go to any of our shows on YouTube or Facebook or even the podcast, you know, the the links are there, you know, so C4, of course, also the energy drink, but, you know, they got a lot more. So like I said, it's resolution time. Some of you are working out, you're in the gym, you might need protein powders. I got plenty of protein powders. Like I said, the aminos, that'll really help with your soreness, the pre-workout stuff to get you rolling. They're doing a great job. Of course, Chomps, Favorite meat stick, of course, you guys know I've showed you these before. These will also be in the show notes. Chomps, my favorite um, turkey is my favorite meat stick that I eat. And then we also have a new CBD line uh, that we've been talking about. Nothing but hemp right out of the Twin Cities in, in Minneapolis. You know, gummies, uh, they even have hemp clothing. So that will also be in the show notes. So nothing but hemp, you can jump on there and uh, everything will help kind of support us there. And like I said, it's January, so some of you are putting together new your new advertising budgets to do, you know, it's the new year. You know, if you, we've got the racing show, obviously the one to go show, we've got Under Caution, if you're interested in that. We also have a new podcast, speaking of hockey, which is, it's called Tea with Miss McGill. That's been out for a couple of weeks, so if you want to jump on Spotify, jump on Apple, hit the subscribe button so you get the, that's a once a week show, you'll get the latest. It's mainly concentrates on High school hockey, but we do touch on some uh, some of the like NCHC and WCHA around here, some of the Division One teams around here. So uh, you know, Gophers, Bemidji, UMD, St. Cloud, etc. We'll touch a little bit on that, a little bit of D3 stuff, and then also some NHL stuff real quick. So uh, don't be afraid to get over. Say, you know, if you like it, share it. You know, give us a, a, a rating there. There's some stars that always helps get the show out. So if you're into hockey, and we've been kind of talking to you about this hockey podcast, but with all the pauses and such we just with high school we just couldn't get it out so we'll be doing that every week uh reed larson and i reed's a, f a former coach so you know like i said whether it's the one to go show side the racing side or the podcast side with the hockey show or a combination of the two if you're putting your advertising budget together just slide up a dm to me or, or send me an email and uh get a hold of me that way and we could talk about some advertising there so all right hockey nhl you know it's good to be back the team i'm following the most Winnipeg Jets get four guys from the Twin Ports on that team right now. Derek Forbert, a Duluth East grad. Neil Pionk, a Hermantown grad. Dylan Sandberg, another Hermantown grad. And Don Toninato, a Duluth East grad. Um, three of those guys, Sandberg, Toninato, and Pionk all played at UMD. Forbert went the uh, national development route when he was a junior and senior, I believe. And then he played at UND for the Sioux for a couple years. But anyway, kind of my favorite team to watch. Uh, just because, you know, the local connection there. Uh, Kippersov, or yeah, Kiprasov, Kirill. I'm looking at his name right here. He's, you know, he looks like he's going to be the real deal. And that, that's, I like your comments on that. If you want to comment on this, uh, thoughts on him so far. It looks like he's the real deal. I remember him in the Olympics in 2018, and he looked like the real deal then. And it looks like he is going to be the real deal. So that's good. Uh, Gopher men's looking good also. I think last week, last I looked, they had the number one rating in Division One men's hockey. I don't know where they're at. I didn't know how they did over the weekend, but, uh, you know, uh, we got a local Grand Rapids kid on that team also. So looking good there. And then the high school, you know, uh, you know, right here in Grand Rapids, we have that Jack Parrott. Uh, he's a Mr. Hockey candidate. He is the real deal. He's very Scott Prunovich-ish. Uh, they... What they take here? I got some scores here for 8-1 last week over Cloquet. 3 nothing over the Moorhead Spuds on the road on... Oh, my light went out. 3-0 uh, over the Spuds on Saturday. And 
They outshot, they beat Duluth Marshall last night and outshot them 55 to 5. So definitely a dominating performance there, looking really good. Uh, my buddy Eric Rewerts, Weedy as we know him, took over the uh, head hockey job in Hibbing first year. Good guy, great hockey player. He'll get things figured out there. Run into Hermantown. That's another thing I'd like to hear your comments on. When is it time for Hermantown to finally do the right thing and play double A? As a matter of fact, I think Grand Rapids enrollment is lower than Hermantown. Grand Rapids does opt up to the double A. Um, and really all you're doing is, is hurting the kids. You know, instead of playing at prime time on Saturday at the state hockey tournament in March, you know, you're playing at two in the afternoon. I've played in the game, so I know what it's like. I mean, our, our section final game at the Memorial Building Hibbing was more interesting or more, I shouldn't say interesting. The atmosphere was better there than it was having only 5,000 people at a huge um, venue like the, the uh, you know, Excel Energy Center. So, uh, you know, Hermantown's just really screwing their kids. So hopefully... The word will get out, and they will eventually move up. But send me your comments on that one. But like I said, Rewards will do a good job. Hibbing's got a fantastic peewee team. You know, they're beating double-A teams. As a matter of fact, uh, I got a message from a buddy of mine who's got a, a, uh, his sons on the team, and they were number one in the state here real recently. So he's got some talent to work with coming up. As a matter of fact, I think his son is in that group, so he'll have he'll know that group. Not only are they a good group, but uh, Coach Rewards will know that group because he'll be following with his with his son so uh just some thoughts on the wild west shootout uh you know it looks like rtj's for real you know he's gonna come in run for that rookie of the year with the lucas series uh he's impressive definitely uh jd looked good uh bobby pierce not so much uh but then and then you kind of you go back to to like moyer and mars you know they're definitely just not in that top echelon anymore you know they're kind of mid-pack guys they're just they're just not fighting for the win every night where IRTJ he found a way in Davenport they found a way every night you know to be up front front the squirrel looked decent it reminds me of being at the USA Nationals about 10 years ago when on the Wazota side where you know mid-pack Eggersdorf was still racing back then and Lance was out there and and Canta and it was kind of like gosh look at these guys these guys are 13th 14th and 15th and 10 years previous to that they are always fighting for the top so over you know over time things change Sunshine Nationals over in Florida you know Strickler looked good you know just like RTJ uh, another mod guy is stepping up Strickler looked good uh, won one of the nights Bronson won the other night uh, Rain forced a cancellation on Friday night but the big question you know Bloomquist uh, on Saturday night got a second place big question with him now is going to be you know, he hasn't officially announced if he's going to run that Wu schedule this year. So is he coming back? You know, we're still waiting to hear on that. Um, so that'll be that'll be kind of interesting going forward. You know, obviously he's sitting pretty decent in the points with a second-place finish. He made the feature the first night he was toward the back. Um, but, you know, points-wise, he's, you know, obviously sitting in the top 10. So, you know, where's he going to go from, from there? So, and then, you know, just a quick football thoughts. You know, I see a four-point. They're giving the... Uh, uh, four, uh, Packers are four-point favorite. They're giving Tampa Bay four points. Now, it's a couple of things to think about is, you know, it's going to be cold. It's supposed to be snowy, but who knows how to play in snow and cold? Tom Brady. He did it for 20 years in, in New England. And even Antonio Brown. You know, Pittsburgh isn't the warmest city on earth. He's played some, some in some cold games outdoors. So it's going to be interesting. I, I would say that line is about right, but I wouldn't be surprised if the Bucks really surprise him. Uh, of course, Gronk's used to playing in the cold, too. AB's used to playing in the cold. Brady's used to playing in the cold. I don't know about the other guys, you know, how they're going to be able to adjust. So I still think Packers have that home field advantage. But if, you know, if it comes Sunday night, I think their game is Sunday. I don't know exactly which day. But if I hear later that night that the Buccaneers beat the Packers at Lambeau, I wouldn't be totally surprised just, you know, because of all that. So again, you know, want to thank our partners, C4. Want to thank our partners, Chomps. Go get your meat sticks. Like I said, go get your proteins. Go get your aminos. Get her done. It's New Year's resolution time. Get on your workout. Don't give up your workout. It's what, the 20th of January? It's too early to give up your, your goals for the year. Keep thumping on that. Nothing but hemp. I said links and such will be either. I don't know if I can link on a live, but if I can't, just look back. Our links will be in other, whether it's Facebook, YouTube, podcast, you'll be able to find the links there. Um, and again, if you're, you're looking at the advertising side, whether it's hockey with the new podcast, remember again, it's T with Miss McGill, T and then Miss is not M-I-S-S, -S, it's just M-S. So T with Miss McGill, Spotify, Apple, all the favorite places you podcast, you could jump on there. That will be a once a week show. So if you're looking at advertising, slide up in a DM, let us, um, 
I know on that, like I said, help us get the word out. If you like that Tea with Miss McGill podcast, uh, you know, say don't be afraid to, you know, the things that kind of help is if you share it with your friends, uh, you know, if you subscribe, because they always look at the subscribe numbers. And then if you, you know, there's a star rating there. If you give us a star rating, that helps us uh, internally because, you know, if you get a lot of stars and you get a lot of subscribes, Apple starts moving up the list. And if, you know, just some Joe Schmo watches a lot of sports stuff, they're going to they're gonna push that to them and say, hey, you might also like this show. So we appreciate any help with that. And I think that's about it. Oh, and then we have one more show. So, um, you know, our company, Goat Sports Media, uh, we're working on another show that's kind of more of, just kind of a guy talk show, more like a locker room talk show. So we'll let you know when that one comes up also. But that one should be launched within the next three, four weeks. We're working out some details with with a gentleman on that. So we'll have that. We'll probably be about once a week show too. So, all right, everyone, that's it. So first vlog of 2021. I'm going to try to get probably a dozen in this year. So one down, 11 to go, probably once a month. We'll try to get something in. And... um I think that's about it. So we will catch you all on the next vlog. Have a great week, everyone. See ya.